What's up boys and girls and welcome back to another Black Desert Online video. So today we've had some pretty big news dropped on us and that is that we are getting Valencia Part 1 on the 1st of June. So I thought I'd put together a quick and short guide to give you guys some hints and tips of some things that you can be doing in order to prepare for the upcoming expansion. So let's get right into it and start discussing the first thing that you guys can do in order to help yourself prepare for Valencia Part 1. Leveling in this game has just become significantly easier as they have increased the overall XP you get from every monster in the game as well as giving us a huge 30% bonus XP event until June the 1st. It is now totally possible to get anywhere between 4 to 6% XP an hour whilst leveling up to 56. This is nearly double what people were getting a couple weeks back. One guildie who is currently going for level 57 was just getting under 1% XP an hour and now he is getting between 1.4 and 1.8 XP an hour whilst grinding at Sorzen. So this should put it into perspective of how much easier they've made it to level across the board. So if you're not level 56 yet, if you're not even level 55 yet, I really suggest to start grinding towards there now as I can't think that it will become any quicker in the next few coming months. Even with the Valencia expansion coming out, you're still going to need the high level gear in order to grind at the new spots. So you may as well get these low levels out of the way now so that you can deal with the high levels later on. Also, the last thing worth mentioning is that when they do drop awakening weapons, remember that you need to be level 56 in order to get these. So if you want to get them as soon as they come out, make sure you're level 56 before Valencia drops. Although it hasn't been confirmed we're getting the weapons yet, better safe than sorry. The next thing that we're going to be getting with the Valencia update is that we will be receiving plus 20 enhancements. In order to go past plus 15, you need to make an item called the Concentrated Black Stones. And the key ingredient for this is a Black Crystal Shard. And these have been implemented in the game in order for us to prepare for the new enhancements. You can obtain these crystal shards from gathering throughout the game. You can get them from chopping down trees, you can get them through gathering bushes, sucking blood out of animals, just any form of gathering, you can get them. You can even get them to drop through farming. Now, what I suggest everyone to do would be to stock up on lucky tools which you can craft yourself or you can buy them off the marketplace if there are any left in order to increase your chance of getting these rare drops and also to start leveling your gathering so that it requires less energy and therefore you can gather more of these shards. The best way to think about this is that the more shards you have when Valencia drops, then the quicker you're going to be able to upgrade your gear. And if you're not interested in upgrading your gear, then it's probably just worth collecting these shards in order to sell them when the expansion drops as they will have a huge inflation in price. So a lot of people have been worrying that with plus 20 coming out, this means that everyone's going to fall so far behind that only the top 1% of players are going to be able to have fun in this game. But it looks like Darmi Yu have actually thought about this by introducing another event called the Black Stone event. This means all monsters will now drop black stones. And since the patch going live, we've already noticed a fairly significant increase of people getting stones, both on the marketplace and within my guild. So this should allow newer players who are not already plus 15 to much more easily gear up for the Valencia patch. And those that are already plus 15, hey, now you have more stones to fail stack to in order to get your plus 16 and 17 in shards. So it looks like everyone's winning with this event as well. It will be interesting to see what happens to the price of black stones over the coming days, as I reckon they're going to drop very low, but then as Valencia comes out, they'll probably skyrocket again in price. Another cool thing that has been released is that you can now put workers on your farm. This means that they can remove insects and prune plants for you, but they can't actually collect the completed material. So if you're lazy like me and you hate having to look after your farm, then this should really help you out. Another big change we've had today is that there is a new group reward system which will now give hunter seals for clearing field bosses and world raid bosses. So I'm not really sure what quantity this is going to give it to us yet, but I'll keep an eye on it over the next few days, get some data together, and then I'll post something in the comments for you guys to see. Or if you're interested, check out my Twitch and I'll be happy to talk to you guys about it. A few other small things that have been changed in the game is that they have now added limitations within the red battlefield. So this means that if you have more than 150 AP or more than 200 DP and you exceed 300 AP DP combined, 
then you have to go to a specific battleground. This will stop us very geared players from killing the undergeared, more casual player. This means that more people are going to be able to have fun in battlefields. Because at the moment, if you went in there with bad gear, you weren't really going to have a very good time. As you were going to get pretty much one-shotted by the high-geared players. Now, this will hopefully allow the super-geared players to all fight each other. Whilst allowing the more casual and less geared players and even the newer players to have a bit of fun in the battlegrounds. And just have a good time. I really like this change. It's really good. It could have been possible for them to just normalize all gear in the red battlefield. But I imagine that's a much harder change to make in terms of actually changing the mechanics of the game. So I understand why they haven't gone with that route. Because it would have taken a lot more time to figure out. Also, Berserkers have received a fairly substantial buff today. Uh, it seems like a Berserkers in our guild have gained anywhere between 500 and 750 extra HP. That is pretty huge, considering on some of our characters we only have 1.5k. So, we now have Berserkers running around with over 3k HP. Which, you know, is interesting, but we'll see how that pans out as well. Also, Musa and Mewa have had even more buffs, so hopefully this will make them competitive. And Asork has had a very small nerf. They're still going to be great. None of my guildies have complained yet that they now suck. It's just a little bit of an AP nerf to their buffs, which I think is totally fine. And hopefully it will help level the playing fields a bit with stuff like World Boss Loot and maybe small scale PvP. But finally, the last big thing that I wanted to talk about today that is coming to Valencia is Castle Sieges. We have been waiting for these for a very long time. And they have finally given us the date of June the 15th. So I suggest that if you're interested in participating in these, then you should find yourself a guild that is going to get involved in them. And check out some videos online about it. Information is quite hard to find about sieges and node wars, which is why I haven't done a video guide or anything on it yet. Once I find out enough information, I will try and get that across to you guys. But for now, go research it up online. Steparu's got some videos out there. Hakari's put out some videos about it. So it would be totally worth you guys checking all that out and reading up on some of the documents that there are about it. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I want to keep it short, just give you the information you need so you can go back to playing Black Desert. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or anything like that, then please do leave a comment below. And if you've enjoyed the video, then please do like and subscribe for more content. Until next time, guys, take it easy and peace out.